All right, Shalom. As always, we like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Kakadash. Double honor to elders and apostles, great millstone for teaching us the truth, uh, this beautiful truth. All right, and to all of our uh, faithful brothers out there pushing this word um, throughout the four winds. All right, we're going to get into a lesson how the Lord maintains your lot and the truth. He maintains your lot. All right, so the brother is going to um, open up with the first scripture. This is Psalm 16 and 5. Yahweh is my portion, is the portion of mine inheritance. The Lord, all right, the Lord in all caps means Yahweh is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup thou maintainest my lot. Right, so in order for the Lord to maintain your lot, okay, you have to you have to do something, all right, that's well pleasing to him. And and, and that's if he's well pleased, is to um keep on pushing his word and keep constantly being fervent in the spirit. Until until the end, all right. Until the Lord delivers delivers his elect out of this uh, wicked hellhole called Babylon, America. All right. So we must uh, uh, continue pushing his word and standing our lot. Because even Daniel, matter of fact, I'm gonna grab it right quick. All right. The Most I even told Daniel. All right. Because the spirit of the prophets is, uh, are subject unto the prophets, but the Most I told Daniel to stand in your lot. All right. So this uh, Daniel chapter 12 and verse. 10, I believe. Uh, matter of fact, let's start at um, verse 13. But go thou thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days, showing you that the prophets are back on this earth. All right, we don't know who we were in our past life, but the Lord is maintaining the, the prophet's lot. All right, in order for the Lord to maintain your lot, you have to constantly be pushing his word, doing videos, doing the works, having faith, okay? But go thy way till the end be, for thou shalt rest and stand in thy lot at the end of days, all right? That's called reincarnation, so the prophets are back on this earth, all right? And the word, uh, I'm going I'm, I'm to read that again, Psalm 16 and 5, Yahweh is the portion of mine inheritance and of my cup. Thou maintainest my lot. Now, in the word cup, all right, it means uh, the strong definition from an unused root, meaning to hold together a cup as a container. This is often figuratively a lot, as if a, as if a portion. It says portion, but I believe it means portion. As a portion. Also, some unclean. Uh, yeah, that's something else. You know, but that lot or that cup. All right, is a container, you know. So a container, all right. You might put juice, uh, you know, put juice into a container, put it up into the refrigerator until until you need it. Right. All right. The Most High gave us His truth. All right. Um, we you know we pushed His truth out, you know, at a particular time when it was when it was convenient for the Lord for us to push His truth out, which was normally at the fall of a kingdom. All right. So when that kingdom fell, all right, we did what we had to do. All right, we went back into the Heavenly Father. Our spirit, our spirit went back into the Heavenly Father. And then we came back again when another kingdom came up and ruled. And, and, and you know, was uh, when, it, when that time was up. This Ecclesiastes chapter 3, starting at verse 1. To everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the sun. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted. Right, so Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah planted Esau, all right, as the ruler of the earth. Now he's uh, ready to pluck him up, you know. So that's where we right. come in. All right. I would not, and everybody's not is not to push the uh, push the Bible, man. So that's why you know we kind of get we get pissed off when people don't understand it. But really, it's not for them to understand. You know, a lot. You know, what I'm saying it's just that, man. You know. And also, a lot is for that specific uh, particular prophet. Every brother got a different spirit. So you stand in your own uh, specific lot. Like he stands in his lot. The brother stands in his lot. I stand in my lot. Another brother stands in his lot. Everything right. worked out for the edifying. But the Lord, like the brother said, until that cup is being uh, ready to be used. So the Lord keeps you preserved. All right. That spirit goes back to the Heavenly Father, keeps you preserved and brings you right back on this earth for you um, to, to play out your lot. Right. So, like, for example, even if you look at, like, the scriptures say, move not the ancient landmark. Right. You know, we would be like the landmarks, you know what I'm saying, in the spirit. Right. You know, because a landmark... Even a, a house is on a particular what lot, you know, it's there. All right, if I want to go to 33 uh, North Terrace, you know, that's on a particular lot, you know. Right. This uh, First Corinthians. Oh, you got more than that? 
No, that was it. This uh, you can probably grab uh, the Psalm twenty three and five. Yeah. This First Corinthians chapter fourteen, and I'm gonna start at verse thirty one. For he may all prophesy one by one, that all may learn and all may be comforted. Right, because through these scriptures we have comfort, all right, through our elders and apostles of Great Millstone, starting with Elder and Apostle Tahar, Apostle Ramla, Apostle Rakar, Apostle Gafar, okay? And for he may all prophesy one by one that all may learn, uh, and also the brotherhood to comfort each other with these words. And all may be comforted, and the spirits of the prophets are subject, un uh, are subject to the prophets, all right? So whatever you were in your past life, you come back and play your lot. All right, these Christians don't understand reincarnation. You come back. All right, you come back in, in, in your lot and you play out who you were in your past life. Like Daniel was told by the Most High, stand in thy lot until the end of days. All right, so we believe and we know that Daniel is on this earth right now. All right. But this is Psalms 50. Uh, Whoever's uh, best to, to start off. Uh, Psalms 23 and verse. Uh, it's verse 5, but you can probably start on um. Yeah, alright. Psalms 23 and uh, I'll start at 4. I'll start at 3, actually. He restored my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. You know, and um, you know, just expound. Every, you know, you might have been, you might want to be a rapper in the world, you know, you might want to do this, that, and the third, but the most high legend, legend passed, and now you understand it, especially now that we're in the truth, you understand why, you know, you thought this particular way, even though you was in the world, you still had a particular mind, a mind frame that you just couldn't shake, you know, different from everybody else. And also, too, the scriptures, uh, I believe it's a proverb somewhere, it says that the Lord, um, whatever a man's purpose is, he withdraws men from their own oh, purpose, 16. I believe it's in Job. It even draws men from their, their, their purpose, like whatever we want to do in our, in our, our life, our life, the Lord is like, man, you ain't doing that. You ain't doing that. I, I was a pretty good rapper, but the Lord said, man, get that damn thing out of here. You know what I'm saying? You don't, you don't need to do that. This is greater because this is what's going to bring us um, a life eternal. But us constantly, um, the Lord maintaining our lot and us constantly pushing the works. If you ain't pleasing the Lord, how is he going to maintain your lot? Meaning you're a castaway and a reprobate, all right? And that word restore is in the, he goes into the Hebrew word shawab, meaning to return. All right, so he restored, but he returneth my soul. He leadeth me in the ways, or the, it says he leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yeah, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. And again, you know, this place is a, is a, this place is a place of lost souls. But the Most High, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah has been gracious unto us to basically give us our spirit back, you know? And do do what, uh, give us a chance of repentance, okay? So it says, I will fear no evil for thou with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Right, so that that cup and plus, what do you need in that cup? You need oil, all right, to keep you going to finish the, the works. If your cup is running over, that means you have more than enough to finish the works, all right. And and we always say that if without oil, a lot of stuff don't operate. Exactly. Uh, without certain specific oils, a lot of stuff don't operate. But this oil right here is a special kind of oil. It's something that just continues to go and go. And the Lord keeps on feeding us. We got to please the Lord. If, how's he going to keep on feeding us if we don't please him? You know what I'm saying? We got to keep on pushing his word. But, you know, just the, the, the brotherhood getting together, doing videos. No matter what's going on, man, everybody out here is dead, man. Okay? This, this place is, is, is idle. It's dead. There's nothing here. But the only living thing flowing is, you, you know, the, this truth. All right? The, the Lord is maintaining our lots, and we got to continue to you know keep on pushing man simply put you know hey, hey you could have tell you remember walking over here thinking about doing a lesson and you, you so just many. think about so many other lessons yeah, you know yeah so you can't even contain the spirit you try you know yeah you know that's why sometimes you hear brother he may stutter or kind of it kind of seems like he's going off point but he's just trying to you know keep up with the spirit you know it says thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies thou anointest my head with oil 
my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. You got it. Yup. So that's 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 all. Uh, that's plain and simple, man. I'll read it again. It says, "Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life." That's goodness and mercy, man. You know, because now the Lord has given us understanding. He has given us the ways of life, so that we don't have to continue to get chastised by Him. Okay. Yep. It says, "And I will dwell in the house of Yahweh forever." Okay. okay. So there you go, man. Yep. You know, and we understand through the Spirit that reincarnation does exist. And King David is who? Uh, uh, Apostle Peter, man. So he he literally, from King David, from generation to generation, you know, came back to Apostle uh, Peter, man. This Jude, uh, verse 5. Jude, okay, one chapter book. It's powerful, man. Jude, verse 5. I will therefore put you in remembrance, okay, though he once knew this. Mm. All right, because we knew this in our past life. You stand in your lot now, you be like, okay, now we're... we're Remembering when things are written aforetime, uh, it's written for our learning, like it says in Romans 15 and 4. The Lord is putting us in remembrance of who we are, but we're playing out a lot. Of course, there's no remembrance of, of former things, but we don't know who we are in this life. We don't know. We're just playing out a lot, and Lord willing, we are those men. But we know reincarnation exists, right? So it says here. And <laughs> God, you got it? No, like, like Brother saying, it's no remembrance of former things, but it just... Just how things happen, you know, it's the spirit, man. Just things just, you know, fall in place for you, you know? And that's through the spirit of power, you how and you shot. And that's the beautiful thing about it, too. Because everything just, it's, we know that we could possibly be those elect men. That's why we always say, hopeful elect and Lord willing. All right, that's, what, what, what's that? Having a fear of the Lord, too. Because we don't want the Lord to spew, spew us out of his mouth. Okay, we want to continue in the works. Though he once knew this, how that the Lord, Yahweh shy. Having saved the people, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, having saved the people out of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believe not. Right. So the Lord had compassion on us. But guess what? We still kept going against them and going against them. He has compassion on us. We kept going against them and go until this day. Two thirds, oh, okay, you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians are still out here. All right, doing what you want to do, eating what you want to eat. All right, the Lord ain't maintaining your lot. Well, yeah, yeah, he is actually maintaining the lot because you're going to destroy them. Two -thirds. <laughs> exactly, the two-third lot. This is Sirach 39 and 6. When the great Lord will, he shall be filled with the spirit of understanding. <laughs> he shall pour out wise sentences and give thanks unto the Lord in his prayer. He shall direct his counsel and knowledge, and in his secrets shall he meditate. So the Lord, hey, we just went into it. When the great Lord will, when Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah wills you to be born, hey, that's that's uh your time. He shall shew forth that which he have learned, and shall glory in the law of the covenant of Yahweh. Many shall commend his understanding, and so long as the world endureth, it shall not be blotted out. His memorial shall not depart away, and his and his name shall live from generation to generation. No. God. God. I was looking for that scripture. Yeah. Um, John, you tell me. Oh, John yeah, 17? To keep you from the evil. 17. Oh, you can pretty much start. All right. For the Lord to maintain your lot. All right. Uh, he'll keep you from the evil. The Lord may have it forever. Surely. They are dying right. And now I'm gonna start this shit. Okay, I got 17, 15. it. God, this John, the what? Uh, this John chapter 17, verse 15. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world. Yeah, I was just praying for his elect. So he's saying this here. I pray not that thou shouldest take them out of the world, but that thou shouldest keep them from the evil. Right, and the evil to come. We know the RFID microchip is gonna is, is going to be mandated. We know that. The second wave of the so-called COVID-19 is gonna be pushed. This is Esau's way of testing, okay, to see how things are, are going to, to go. If he opens up businesses and the economy, blah 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 blah. But we know he's his his desperation and his plan is to chip everybody. We know that's what he's trying to do. That's the ultimate goal for the elites. Nope. Yep. Um, they are not of the world, even as I am not of the world. 
All right, and Yahweh, um, and the Heavenly Father maintained Yahweh Shah's lot. All right, he 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 kept going until the end. All right, because Yahweh Shah came back on what and and uh, uh, different reincarnations. All right, but he kept always maintaining his lot. All right, the Father never forsook Yahweh Shah. All right, he never forsook Yahweh Shah. He's always there with the with with his son. All right, but um, you got you got brothers that that need to um to really be in the spirit of prophecy and be in the spirit of pushing these videos, at least to the best of your ability and keep on continuing to be more brotherly with each other, do these videos, get up with each other if, you, if the time is right. All right, and the Lord is gonna maintain your lot. All right, your inheritance is gonna maintain your lot. All right? Uh, you gonna skip down to 25, huh? You still, you still holding that? Um, what, 17? Yeah, 17. No, all, all damn slot. This is John 15 and 25, actually. Come, this is, that, but this come, cometh to pass that the word might be fulfilled that is written in their law. They hated me without a cause. But when the comforter is come, whom I will send unto you from the Father, even the spirit of truth, which proceeded from the Father, he shall testify of me. And ye also shall bear witness, because ye have been with me from the beginning. That's right. You know, and, 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 and me and the brother was talking, it's like, hey, you know, don't be, don't, don't beat yourself down because it's like here it is. Most of the world is sleep, even more in the slumber. But you're grown in the faith. You see, so our works are being declared that we could definitely beat our men. You know, the scriptures say too, the inward man is renewed day by day, but the mm -hmm. outward man perishes. Yeah. All two right. Two thirds and, on the outward. So and, I, and, no, no, you got it. You got it. The brother's right. Two thirds on the outward appearance. Okay, they they perish. And the scriptures say too, the fashion of this world. Perish it. It's going to fade away. But what, what stands at the end? The Most High's words, all right? Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai's word will stand, okay? And, and the elect are going to stand. Lord willing, we are those men. Why? Because the Lord maintains our lot. All right? It's the only thing we have to look forward to, to look at, all right, as, as our salvation uh, and, and, and a way out of here. Because we know that nothing in this world never worked out anyway. His brothers just ain't saying, I'm just going to go out there and be an Israelite. You are an Israelite, no matter if you think so or not. It's the, what the Lord uh, puts you to do. It's what the Lord puts you to work. You got to do the work. All right? This is deadly serious. We, we, can, we should, brothers, always got to say, uh, you know, always remind ourselves that not to look back. Don't look back. All right? Because the world, they don't maintain each other's lot. the hell they do? They, they, they all they over the place. They cut each other down. All right? They're not, they're not for, for, uh, for, uh, for giving to each other. Yeah. Right. Yeah, man. So with that, you know, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh Shai, Bashim, Rakakadash, double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, and Shalom to the elect. Shalom, Maki. Shalom. Keep on pushing, too.